All right, guys, hope all is well. Um, I'm going to do a video just about what I'm looking at for this coming week um, on the market. So first of all, checking out dollars, see what that's doing. So going in from kind of last week and then week before, we had quite a bearish week. We did break some structures, lower time frame. Um, and I was expecting to see if price was going to give us a pullback to then come lower. I still think we can get that. Um, we had a lot of manipulation and a lot of mitigation in around this area. So I think now we could potentially start to come and feel some of this imbalance, whether we're going to continue for high from here or if we are actually going to come down a little bit further. Um, but I do just kind of have these areas as my overall targets. So I'm just dropping it down a little on lower time frames. So you can see this is the supply zone, which really kind of first caused this big move lower. And then price came into a mitigated a little bit. And then we actually really kind of continued down. Then we did actually break some significant structures and we did actually have some significant demand that was invalid as well. So going in from last week, price, well, not last week before last, price really just kind of just died off. And then we had this big manipulation move and then we pumped straight up into the highs. And I did think we were going to get retracement to then kind of go up a little bit higher. Uh, but you can see we just generated a lot of liquidity last week. We had a big manipulative move, testing lower time frame supply within this higher time frame demand supply. And there was a few trails that um, I was following. So now I'm kind of waiting for just pullbacks and to see if price is actually going to give us that short move. You can see the daily, daily closed, whoops, daily closed pretty bearish. So um, I do want to see if price can potentially um, give us a little bit of short moves. You can see last week, Last week was ended a little bit bullish, um, but I do want to see if we can actually start potentially heading a little bit down a little bit further. Um, so dropping it down on lower time frames, there was a smaller supply zone within here. Actually, I think it was on. Okay, yeah, so we had this overall kind of five minutes supply zone in here, which you can see is tested within here. Um, and from there, it was pretty much just following the whole trail down really, I believe it's just on a bit bigger time frames. Okay, cool. So we had this high time for a move, then we had this wick, and then price came in the, the supply zone, then we started falling off. We had this demand in here, we had this demand, and we just have this demand as well, which is actually getting invalidated or is invalidated. These two are definitely invalidated. So now it's just looking for the supply that kind of caused the break of this so far we've got so much liquidity resting below all of these lows so i do want to see if we can get that ran um but so far i do think we could potentially come in and start filling some sort of areas in here if we kind of get one more run back up and then the continuation back down into the downside weather depending on what happens on monday because it is the queen's funeral on a monday so i feel like maybe something might not really happen and going into tomorrow we have this move to do what happens and then we're going into the rest of the week um, so that is um, dollar. I can see dollar potentially coming way down a little bit lower into here. Um, but just as overall, this is going to be my first target, just that daily imbalance. Um, so US 30, US 30 has been super bearish recently. And we did and are actually kind of coming in and testing the areas, which is actually our accumulation area. This whole phase is our accumulation phase because price accumulated upwards so you can see we have actually been testing in and around this level and we have actually been testing this daily so we have taken major liquidity points and we are actually testing major liquidity as well so um, kind of across a lot of these pairs um i feel like we are actually going to get a bit of a continuation um just for potential like overall short moves we did on us 30 come in and test really really small in here I believe it's on a 15. yeah so we came in and tested this five minute move that five minute move actually did come down and test this four hourly um i did think that price was following all of this trail you can see we had lows here that got manipulated price came down we broke stretch we came in test and then this is actually just following the whole tests and trails so this is technically valid because it did enter but if we go on to the daily i took the 50 percent of this whole daily move and i brought it down into an an hourly and you can see this hourly move is lining up really really nice with that 50 percent so whether price does want to go a little bit deeper maybe um i will be interested to see um but what i'm kind of seeing at the moment is 
technically we have mitigated out of positions following the trail and following these trails we have actually started to break up a little bit higher you can see we had the manipulation of these lows here this was our big demand zone price came in we mitigated and then we just kind of started continuing up and breaking the structures so what i'm kind of looking at to see if price can potentially come up and fill these highs i do want to see if we can come into 131 500 um or if not potentially a little bit higher for some sort of retracement um high time frame we are in kind of an expectance of a pullback now if we just look at basic structure well i mean tell a line we do have this overall kind of main structure i would say this is that because these are kind of just intermediate kind of moves there was no real kind of swing to it so personally for me i'd be saying like this is just like an extension leg and whether the price is going to come back up and feel lower or if we're actually only going to come back up and kind of die off a bit but you can see going in from last week that monday candle was super bullish we actually had a gap in the market which did actually come in and get filled in here um and i do want to see if price can actually start running some of these highs equally yes i know we are bearish so in reality, price could just test off here and continue lower. And that is completely fine. And we do have some supply in here. Um, yeah, supply in here, which I will be keeping my eye on. But I do think price could potentially give us a little bit of a run just because we did have the supply in here, which was invalidated. So um, I do want to see if price can actually potentially come back down and start coming into these areas, whether we're going to break higher or if we're actually going to break lower, what could potentially happen is kind of what happened on AU when price broke up, we come back down test, and then we just moved up to our target and then we died off. So you can see, potentially see if AU can want to come down and just moon and then potentially die off. And that's just going to be our continuous structure. And the same with US 30, honestly, if price can actually just give us one move. Because in here, you can see we had a lot of Asian liquidity um and price just really correctively moved up all the way into the day uh, all the way in the week and midweek we had that rollover so i do want to see going into potentially monday or something well maybe not monday because the queen's funeral um but i do want to see if we can potentially come back down and actually start heading long if this area in here gets invalidated um gold we've again on most of these pairs we come into major liquidity points um it's not a weekly yeah so gold i'm looking for shorts on this week going down into this weekly zone you can see this is a major level of supply and demand in the market which is around 1600 1600 is our major whole number within here which price is reacting from so i want to see if potentially going into the weeks we could actually get that you can see we are overall bearish we did actually take out major liquidity points with these lows in here major liquidity whoops major liquidity all of these lows and including this one actually and price is now officially broken below so now when we have a break structure and price is looking to pull back i do want to see if we can get some sort of pullback you can see this is our low lower high lower low lower high price come in we came in and filled into the discount uh, premium prices before price selling off now i want to see if we can price come up and come into some premium pricing um i do have uh my fib my fib does line up quite nicely with this daily area in here um i do want to see if price can kind of come out oh yeah on actually no don't worry we'll go into that in a second um gold okay cool so gold just looking at basic stretch we've got a low lower high lower low and i'm looking for a lower high and a continuation is lower i do have a few areas um where we could potentially be looking to sell from there's a nice 30 minute zone which is in and around this overall zone the, what i have highlighted i have highlighted this daily area because there is supply zones a little bit lower down here which i will show you but I think that's just going to create an imbalance, which is further than going to get taken out. So I'm going to use this daily as an overall kind of imbalance. Um, so we do, uh, okay, and here we have that supply zone that I was talking about. So I do want to see if price can start giving us 
a bit of a retracement now. We do have a really, really nice accumulation, which is in here. You can see price came down, we manipulated the lows. Price came down again, we manipulated. And then we had that real big pump. This was our supply zone that price was mitigating out of in here and here. We closed all the orders. Price came down. This was the demand which invalidated the supply. So now I want to see if price can come down and actually start heading a bit higher, start taking out these highs and see if we can potentially start taking some of this out or at least coming in and coming in and testing the major whole number, major whole number being 17,000. So I do want to see if price can actually probably come back up in and fill that zone. And that major whole zone is kind of looking pretty much 50% of that daily zone. So yeah, so 50% of this daily zone, major whole number, major whole numbers never lie. Banks like to trade within it. Uh, major whole numbers major half points if any of you guys know about quarters theory um i'd look into that um so yeah i am looking to see if price is going to let me get some nice opportunities off this 15 minute or even this 10 minute this 15 minute is looking quite nice for me you can see really nice breaker structure we can delete this off that's our reaccumulation we can even use a fib put it from the low to the high you can even potentially use this loan probably i would not be kind of using this zone so i'm um, again in around these areas for that potential long movement if i am to put my trade here i probably would have my stop just a little bit more below this because you can see this did manipulate this low so maybe this could actually manipulate a little bit lower and then come fill this little imbalance in here um, but I will potentially be looking to take some buys off this zone. That would be quite nice. Just take it up to the top side. That would be a nice one to six. Um, so that would look is looking like quite nice. So um, obviously I'm overall bearish on this trade, but I think this week we could actually get some sort of pullbacks. Um, and you don't always have to trade intermediate structures. I feel if you're kind of new to trading, then maybe not. Um, but counter 10 trading is good if you um, know how to potentially. So this is potentially looking quite good for nice retracements. Euro GBP, Euro GBP is bullish, bullish as hell um, at this current moment. I do want to see, now we have actually started to break some weekly highs. I do want to see if price can potentially come back into anywhere in this zone, because if we are actually looking this is nothing more than a big wipe off. You have your buyer's climax, you have your secondary test, you have more liquidity in here, you have that UT, you have that UTAD, price breaks lower, this is your whole supply zone. And this is your tests, this is the mitigations. Price came down, we came lower. So what have we done so far? Price has generated so much liquidity taken out a lot of the liquidity in here. We actually came in and filled. Did we come in and filled this guy? No, we didn't. And the price has come down and taken major, major liquidity. And you can see we are now taking out all of this prior liquidity to then actually potentially come back up and actually give us that UTAD fill, that test, and then that continuation because we do have zones lower in and around here. So your GBP is what I'm looking at. Um, so for now, what are we looking at? So weekly, we've broken structures. So now I do want to see if price can come back down. We can have that move up. You can see we've had these EMA crosses. I don't really use EMAs that much, but they are just quite a nice confluence to have. We have a really, really nice weekly zone in here, which I do want to see if we can look for some buys. Um, but this week is potentially, I could be looking for potential shorts. So um, obviously we are actually bullish at this point which is fine and this means we can still look for buys going off here anywhere into this zone because this is the four hour zone which caused that break of structure you can see we have another well all of these accumulation reaccumulation oh well, this is a reaccumulation this is a reaccumulation so now i'm waiting for price to see if we can either come down reaccumulate or if price is going to actually start heading back down and validate some of these zones, potentially give us a pull back up into here and then potential longs, maybe, maybe. Um, 
but this is what I am going to be looking for. I do want to see if we can come into this zone. Maybe going into next week, we can see if we can get some nice shorts going in off the table. Um, we do have some lows in around these zones, which is making me think we could actually pump a little bit lower. And we do have a really, really nice four hourly zone in here. And we had an hourly. We did actually come in and film off a 30 minute zone, super, super clean, but there were more objectives lower that needed to be done. Well, it didn't need to be done, but which I thought were going to be complete, but we didn't get that, which is fine. So even now we can still potentially be looking for intraday shorts, lower time frame shorts. If price is actually going to start breaking structures, I do want to see if price can come back up and that move lower and take out a lot of this psych like, range, that will, a lot of this Asian range you can see. There was a lot of news that happened you can see we've got a lot of imbalance within here. So I do want to see if next week we can potentially start heading a little bit south. If not, I am going to just continue with um, structures. Um, but so far, I'm potentially looking for longs off this zone. But this is quite a big zone to be playing from, around 100 pips. So um, being able to utilize, again, just a different swing points. And what I will do, probably, if I can get an entry, well, if I get my confirmations in around here if I get like a low time frame distribution what I will do is potentially look to sell and maybe hedge a position um depending on if this, this zone gets invalidated I'll be selling all the way into here to see what price does if we break lower that's fine and if we do invalidate this zone I'll be looking for pullback and then continuations lower um so that is euro gbp at the standpoint yes we are looking for bullish because we are high highs and high lows but realistically, you should never anticipate a break of structure, I know. Um, but high time frame, I do think we could potentially come down a little bit further into some zones, which is why it's not, not on the table, you know. So that's your GBP. AUD USD. This is kind of the same as all of the other um currency pairs, to be fair. Um we have taken major liquidity points of these lows. You can see MLP, major liquidity pool, or points, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 14th of July, we came down and took out that low. So um, you can see we got a low, lower, high, low, low, lower, high, lower, low. So now we had this daily supply price came in. We pulled back up. We came down, broke structures. We did actually come in and fill some of our um, Fibonacci levels. And now um, AU, I'm just looking for just continuations, pullbacks and continuation shorts. Um, I do want to see if zones can be met. We do have some really nice imbalance zones which are lined up with some Fibonacci. So this is potentially looking quite good for some potential longs next week going into some shorts. Um, we have a couple of zones which we could look to buy from around like this 20 minute if this zone is broken. And... I just want to show you if we go on a 30 minute and we invert this, what is this looking like for you guys? Because for me, this is kind of looking like the dollar. It's gone an hourly. So this is AU. This is AUD USD upside down. And this is the dollar. Look how similar that is. So if on dollar, I'm waiting for price to come up to then push lower, that means I'm waiting for AU to technically invertedly pull up to then come lower and feel this imbalance because this is nothing more. And if we invert this, now can you see how this is looking like AUD? Can you see how similar this is? So they do correlate really nicely. So this is why looking at the dollar and if we go in, we look at US 30. If we invert that, again, looking kind of similar to the dollar in the sense of looking for that pullback and continuations. US 30 waiting for that pullback and continuations. We invert this again. And not so much gold, but you can see we have this pullback that we're looking to see, which is very really nice break structure. This was actually... Like we said before, a lower time frame accumulation. So um, a lot of these, when you invert them, I find sometimes it does actually help me um, with what I'm looking at. 
Um, so AU taking major liquidity points. So now I'm really just looking forward to see if we can get some pullbacks. I don't really want to be doing anything unless we break potentially this high because we are technically still in a bearish market and we could still get that bearish move. But if the supply gets invalidated, I do want to see if price can actually give us this move and either come in and film into some of this hourly supply or if we are actually going to maybe fill a little bit higher. Again, I know I don't really trade EMAs too heavy, but you can see after each test of, on the daily um, price has actually been like following these EMAs and you can see just waiting for price to kind of come back up, come back down, waiting for these EMAs to kind of come and continue this rollover. Um, so again, maybe Monday, not going into too much. I know that is obviously Queen's funeral and things. So we'll see what happens about that. Um, that's just an overall bias of what I do want to see, whether these are going to play out exactly, I don't know. But I am waiting for kind of these imbalances on USD pairs to be filled. Um, that is why I'm looking at. If you guys have got any questions, please let me know. Feel free to fire away and I will help you as much as I can. All right, guys. Bye.